After the initial shock of his capture, Atahualpa became a cooperative prisoner. He learned to speak Spanish and play chess with his captors. The Spaniards realized he was more useful to them alive than dead. He was allowed to re-establish his court in prison, as long as he ordered his people to accept Spanish rule. He also ordered them to melt down a vast amount of treasure. Pizarro had promised Atahualpa his freedom in return for the gold. it proved to be an empty promise. Having handed over 20 tons of gold and silver, Atahualpa was no longer useful to his captors. He was garroted to death in the same square where so many of his followers had been slaughtered eight months earlier. With Atahualpa dead, the conquistadors went on to colonize the rest of Peru. Relying on the power of their guns, germs, and steel, Gold from the Spanish colonies was brought back to Seville in southern Spain. There's little activity on the Guadalquivir River today, but in the 16th century, this was among the most important, busiest ports in the world. The steady flow of ships carrying treasure from the Americas helped Spain become one of the richest nations on Earth. The conquistadors had changed forever the relationship between old world and new. I came to Spain to answer a question. Why did Pizarro and his men conquer the Incas instead of the other way around? There's a whole mythology that that conquest and the European expansion in general resulted from Europeans themselves being especially brave or bold or inventive or smart, but the answers turn out to have nothing to do with any personal qualities of Europeans. Yeah, Pizarro and his men were brave, but they were plenty of brave Incas. Instead, Europeans were accidental conquerors. By virtue of their geographic location and history, they were the first people to acquire guns, germs, and steel. By the end of the 19th century, European powers had ventured beyond the Americas and colonized Africa, Australia, and much of Asia. The process that began at Cajamarca had reached its logical conclusion. European guns, germs, and steel were reshaping the world.